Hello guys, welcome to Learning Microcontrollers. In this video, I am going to show you how to interface a PIC16 F877A microcontroller with a TV remote sensor using an IR receiver LED. So let's get started. This is our PIC16 F877A having 40 pins, a DIP version. This is an IR receiver LED I am talking about. It's a simple, easy sensor, easily available everywhere in the market. It only has two pins. To interface this with a PIC, we will need a 10 kilo ohm resistor, 1 by 4 watt resistor. And now let me show you how to do the connections. First of all, you name any of the two pins as ground. You can shuffle these two pins, doesn't matter. And the other pin as VCC. Now, you connect when one end of the ground pin with the one end of the resistor. Then the other end of the resistor goes to common ground of the circuit, that is PIX ground. Now, in between the ground of the LED, grounding pin of the LED and the first end of the resistor, you take your output. You can use any available analog to digital pin, any ADC pin on your PIC. I am using pin number A0. Now the other pin of the IR receiver LED will go to 5 volt supply connect it to the VCC pin of the PIC 16FA77A like this. Now this is our basic connection. Now to display the output and also to calibrate the sensor I am going to use this 16 into 2 LED or oh sorry LCD LM016 having backlight. So let's do its connections as well. To interface this LCD with a PIC you need a 3 pin 10 kilo ohm variable resistor. This will be used to adjust the contrast. Let's do the wiring. So this potentiometer has three pins, one, two, and three. And this LCD, if you hold it like this, it has 16 pins, one to 16 from left to right, if you hold it like this. Now let me show you how to connect them. You common pin number one and five of the LCD, and then you send it to the pin number one of the potentiometer, then this goes to the ground. Now pin number two of the variable resistor, which is the adjustable pin, goes to pin number three of the LCD. Now the pin number two of the LCD, and pin number 3 of the potentiometer meet each other and then they go to the common 5 volt supply. In this way potentiometer gets 5 volt and LCD gets 5 volt. Now pin number 4 of the LCD is RS pin means reset pin. You can use any available digital input output pin of the PIC for this. I am using pin number C0 that is pin number 15. For enable I am using C1 16. For pin number 11 that is pin number data pin 4 of the LCD I am using pin number C2 of the PIC for data pin 5 C3, for data pin 6 D0 and for data pin 7 it's D1. Now pin number 15 and 16 are for the LCD's backlight. This LCD do have a backlight. So 15 will go to the common 5 volt supply and 16 will go to the ground. These are for the LCD's backlight only. If you do not connect them you will still be able to see characters but they will be very dark without backlight. Now these two four pins 7, 8, 9, 10 of the LCD will go empty because we are using 4 bit of 4 bit mode of this LCD while these four pins are for the 8 bit mode. So in this way our LCD connections are complete. Now let me show you what we are gonna do with the programming. I will take three LEDs like this 1, 2, 3. Then to connect these LEDs with a pick you need three uh, 222 you can say 1 kilo ohm resistor I am using 220 you can use 330 or 100 ohm depending upon your requirement so you connect pin number or LED 1 with a pin number B7 the longer pin of the LED will go to the resistor shorter will go to the ground only uh, only the longer pin will go to the resistor remember this B6 to the second LED and B5 to the third LED now the shorter pin of all three LEDs will go common and will go to the ground in this way our LEDs are connected. Now we take a TV remote. When we will uh, use this remote on this sensor, we will program it in a way that it will display raw ADC values on the screen like this. So when I reset, like press it again, values will change. It will give random values like this. Then I will program the microcontroller in such a way that whenever a button is pressed from the remote, all three LEDs, green, red, blue, will blink. So whenever it's pressed, it will blink. And it will also display the raw value on the LCD as well. So this will be our very simple and easy project. So let's get to our hardware and programming. This is our micro C4 PIC. Let me zoom it in. I'm using version 
5.6.1 click on file new project click on next write the name of the project i write irtv learning microcontrollers and the microcontroller is pic 16 fa 77a crystal is 20 megahertz here we go now click on next 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 and finish now first of all we will need to initialize our lcd for that purpose go to the right here you have library manager go to lcd here you have this lcd init here in the example here you have this sign text you copy it like this and you paste it above the void main like this now you have to label the pins as shown in the presentation our rs pin is c0 enable is c1 d7 is d7 is our d1 d0 then we have d5 as c3 and c2 as shown in the presentation again we have to do the same these were for the pinout setting and now this is for the pin direction do the same for rs we have c0 then c1 d1 if you use different uh, uh, digital input output pins then you only have to change the digits here coding will remain the same d1 c0 d1 d0 then we have c3 for d5 and c2 c2 4 d4 now we had initialized the pins now after this void main write the command lcd init this will initialize the lcd give some initialization delay 500 milliseconds will be enough now the second thing is we are going to use some adc pins to read values from the sensor initialize the adc port adc init it will initialize all the adc pins of the pick give some initialization delay 500 will be enough but that's great now we are using three leds on port b initialize those pins trace b dot f7 equals to zero it means b dot f7 port b pin number seven will be an output pin similarly do for the rest of the two that is f6 we are using three leds on three pins and f5 40 39 38 pin of the pick give them initial state that will be zero port b is equals to zero into zero zero all pins of the port b zero because we are not using any other pin so we can go with this give some initialization delay 100 will be enough also give some initialization delay here now we are ready for our forever loop for that right while one first of all we need to read the value from the sensor to calibrate it so we need some uh, variables which will store the value right float read one will be the first value and we cannot display this directly on the screen so we need a string right read one one and uh, how much characters six will be enough so a six character string will store will convert this value to float to string and then this will be displayed on the lcd lcd cannot display floats directly so we need a string for that so now let's write the command to read value from the sensor write the command rec oh sorry R read one is equal to adc read from which channel pin zero and give some initialization delay 50 will be enough okay adc read it will read the value from the sensor from which pin i had selected a zero so this will be channel zero if you use some other pin you have to write other channel like one for a one now convert this to string to be displayed on the lcd float to str read one to read one one and anything found in this will be converted to a string in this from this to this give some initialization delay 
150 will be enough now display it on the LCD to display it on the LCD write LCD out bracket start writing from the first row first column what it should write whatever is in the read 1 1 there we go now before we proceed further we do not need the cursor of the LCD by default LCD has a cursor we remove the cursor for that you go to the right click on library manager go to the LCD CMD command here double click this copy this command LCD CMD clear you place it here here we go now you go back library manager LCD CMD from here you go to this available LCD command table here you have cursor turn off you copy this command from here now go back and inside the bracket here you, you paste it inside the brackets here now this will turn off the cursor give some initialization delay hundred millisecond will be enough now before we start our forever loop we should clear the LCD at least once now LCD CMD you go and you copy this command in the examples LCD CMD is LCD clear this will clear the screen give some initialization delay here we go now we have a program written let's burn it see what happens okay it's burned successful what it's gonna do it's gonna read value from the sensor and display the value on the screen so let's try it out this will be used to calibrate the LCD let me introduce you to the hardware as well okay there you go you can as you can see this is our IR receiver LED these are the three LEDs I'm gonna use they will blink when I will press the button as shown in the presentation rest is our pick as you know this is our LCD I had just zoomed it in let me burn the erase the previous code here we go and let's burn our new code so our new code is okay this is our new code we burned it now it's IR LED click click on file import here we go click on write okay the new code is being written as you can see we are writing our new code let it write okay new code is written so I just zoomed in so let me show you here you go I put the remote in front okay here you go we got six okay when I keep it pressed it is changing values so we are getting different values but again they go back to zero let's refine our code further okay let me show you how to do it you go back to your code let me zoom it in as you can see we are getting values but we cannot do anything because it's not resetting so first we reset the screen after showing a value it will reset the screen for the new value so for that we write LCD clear and we increase the display time to 400 or you can say half a second it will display one value for half a second before taking the new value so here we go we change the code okay our new code is being written as you can see let me zoom out okay we are writing our new code this is our screen LCD screen okay again it starts with zero like always now it's resetting I bring the remote control in front let me move this here okay I press a key see values change when it receives different values but it's too fast that it is not able to cop up with the values okay now what we do we further refine this program like this you zoom it in you go here now what we do is that if received value like read 1 is greater than 5 or we make it 5 if it is greater than 5 only then we get some readable value so only then it display convert and display the value on the screen 
else it should not display the value on the screen and we remove this to 50 it will display the value in screen on screen like this if it is greater than 5 and it will not clear the screen it will overwrite now like this so let's do it let's give it a try again so now what's going to happen is that it will read the value and it will if the value read is greater than 5 it will display it on the screen and it will be there until another value comes greater than 5 so let's burn this code and see what happens click on write okay the code is being burned this is our LCD okay new code is burned I bring in front the remote okay again we start with nothing now I okay the value goes above see now it's much better if a value changes it keeps on displaying it I press again values are changing 10 okay I go press again okay there are values below this it's a zero right now when the button is pressed only then values this else it's zero so what I have done in the programming is that it only shows the value received and it will not show the zero so now we program it that whenever values greater than 5 it will blink all these three LEDs that's what our program is for so let's go back to our programming here let's zoom it in what we gonna do is that we had already initialized the pins of the LEDs what we do do is that we write if value that is greater than 5 then port port b dot f7 equals to 1 port b dot f6 equals to 1 and port b dot f5 equals to 1 okay now these LEDs will turn on as soon as it goes above 5 value red from the sensor is above 5 and when it's below 5 else these LEDs will remain off like port b dot b is equals to 0 into 0 0 all pins of the port b will go 0 so let's burn this code okay let's get back to our hardware this is our hardware let me zoom it out okay we burn our new code now go back and click on write okay the new code is being written let's see now according to this code when we will give it when we press any button from the remote LEDs will blink as soon as it, it, it receives a signal and it will also display the raw value on the screen so let's see here is our remote control see LEDs are blinking. It says we got it. I press again. See same. I press some other key. Same. I keep on press. I keep it pressed. Some key like this. Okay. Th they keep on blinking and the values keep on changing. So guys, I hope you guys learned something from this video. This is a simple project having tons of applications. You can on off motors, controls, or you can develop RC cars using this. And we are right now using a cheap sensor. There is also a 3-pin sensor which will also differentiate analog values. So let me, I will show you in the future videos how to use that. Right now as you can see our LEDs are blinking. As soon as we press the button LED starts blinking. Now you can also do one more thing here. You can increase the blink time. Go back. Here. Now for how long should LED keep on blinking? You copy, you give it a delay here. LED will keep on blinking for 200 milliseconds that will be a lot of time now we update the code click on write zoom out the new code is being written okay let it write now when I will press the key LED will blink for a longer interval of time that is what I ju just changed here you go see they blink for a long interval of time I keep it pressed see they keep on toggling see so guys thank you very much for your time and interest let's see you another in another video so have a nice day